Okay, so back again, it's Tuesday, and today we're gonna to do uh, back and biceps using dumbbells and a straight bar. But for those out there that do not have a straight bar, you can use dumbbells. I'll try to show you a bit of variation between them both. Uh, at least I, in my gym, I have both, so for me, I'm able to do it. For those that don't have it, I do apologize, but we're gonna do something a little bit both because last week I did a lot of dumbbells, this week I'm gonna do more with uh, barbells, so that way I have a better overall workout. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is get myself warmed up. I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna grab, let's say, about 30 pound dumbbells. Yeah. And I'm gonna do something kind of simple, just a, a bit over. Dumbbell row, just right your back, all the way down to your shin, and pull up. Make sure you're not doing this, or you're leaning down, right? So butt back, back straight, core tight. Ten. Ah. Uh, dumbbell rows. Now this will be a little bit different than I did last week. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the bench. Instead of having one leg on the bench in this manner, right, some people may have benches, I'm going to use a kettlebell to do the same thing. Now, those that have kettlebell, same thing again at home, you can actually use a dumbbell, okay? So actually I'm going to bend over, one hand to the side, one, two, three, four, touch the ground and press. Now in this case, I did 16, so that means that I did eight on each side. Now for those out there that do not have a kettlebell, I'm gonna try to do it using a dumbbell. It's actually kettlebells look light, but I'm gonna use it doing dumbbell. Now what I'm doing is I'm gonna mat down to my concrete, and this is gonna make a lot of noise, so I'm gonna mat down. I'm gonna grab a 60 pound dumbbell. Actually doing the same scenario, right? So, stand here. Bend over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 16. Now, for those that are at home and do not bench, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an incline reverse barbell row. Now, obviously, those that don't have a straight bar like I do here, you can take dumbbells, um, you put yourself in an incline position. If you have a bench, it's great. If you don't, find the table is flat, put an incline position, and you're going to pull back. What I'm going to do instead of doing my palms down, reverse the palms up and pull back here. What I'm trying to do is hit the upper part of my back because I don't have a lat pull down bar. Obviously, being at home, but I'm trying best I can to be more creative with what I have to offer. Oh, wait. Let's go 15. Slow down. Then you know, you're not stuck. Yeah. Now watch this. First grip, I'm gonna go a little narrow, I'm gonna pull all the way up as hard as I can. 